We're in hot pursuit on the streets of San Francisco. He went down there. A lot of people have asked me, isn't that dangerous? Should you be chasing a criminal into a subway station? I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition. You've got my speaker right there. You just broke into our car. The answer is probably no, but my first instinct as a reporter is always to try to get the story. Lisa Guerrero recently chased this suspected thief into a train station after she saw him take stereo equipment from a car. Five million people are going to see you steal that. We rigged this car. The Inside Edition chief investigative correspondent was reporting on a rise in smash and grab thefts in San Francisco. Her team working on the story set up multiple cameras in and around this so-called bait car. Valuables, including a purse, were left unattended inside. We're using this $250 speaker as bait. And what the thieves don't know is that we're going to be hiding this GPS device inside of it. There he goes, you just broke in. The loot was snatched up and the suspected crook and an accomplice were on the run. Look at this, there's glass everywhere. Not knowing, Lisa Guerrero and her team were following. Time to activate our GPS unit. We ended up following a city bus for blocks and blocks. And what was our challenge at that point, we didn't know what exit they were going to get off that bus. So every time the bus stopped every other block, we had to wait and we had to look and to see if the kid with the hoodie and his female accomplice were getting off. Sooner or later, you're going to get caught with this. It has a GPS system in it. To me, the funniest part of the story was when he said that he was going to call his mother on me. I'm just going to call my mother. You should call your mother. That is an awesome idea. Can I talk to your mom? In a decade of doing Inside Edition investigations, I've never had somebody that I'm chasing threaten me by calling their mother on me. I have to say, it was shocking. We did get our speaker back. After Lisa recovered the bag and speaker. Purse is in the trash can. It was off to a neighbor's home to get his surveillance video. It all lasted maybe 20 seconds. But the story doesn't end there. As soon as we packed up and left, the sun was just starting to set, and we all looked at the car, and there was glass all over the street. Unbelievably, when we were inside conducting the interview, thieves came out here, and they broke into our crew truck. And we immediately knew that we had been a victim of a smash and grab crime. Ironically, Lisa's team had become victims of the very crime they were there to research. The first thing we all thought of was, oh no, all of our equipment was in there. Some of the more costly items were with us, thank goodness. I had my purse with me because I never leave my purse in a car. Looking back at how dangerous it was covering this story. Sometimes I'm not thinking about my own personal safety as much as I'm thinking about the story. Um, would I do that again? I probably would. But don't tell my dad. Only Sheps for InsideEdition.com.